hello again friends welcome back to my channel i'm Shanice. so happy to have you here if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do so i'd really appreciate it and to my regular watchers i absolutely appreciate you on the menu today let's make these delicious juicy pork chops let's get started so here i have my spices salt garlic powder all-purpose paprika and an all-purpose meat seasoning you can use whatever seasonings that you like and then here are my bone-in thin cut pork chops you can use any meat that you like so i'm just going to go ahead and add in some oil into the seasoning here just to create a nice paste and then we're going to go ahead and get this onto our chops and you can also use chicken breast chicken thighs beef anything so i'm just using this brush to brush on the seasoning only because i don't want to get my hands dirty but and those bones there it makes it so hard to stir this up in a container but you go ahead and do whatever works as long as you season up that meat so i'm just gonna go ahead and cover this up to marinate for about half an hour 45 minutes any amount of time you have will do the job so into a skillet i'm just adding a tad bit of oil only because we have that paste already and we don't need much oil just enough so that this meat does not stick to the pot um, even though this is a non-stick, I still never trust that stuff. So here I'm just going to let this go for about six minutes on each side. We're wanting to make sure our pork chops is halfway cooked. And then we're going to go ahead and turn it over and make it cook for another six minutes or so on the other side. A nice golden brown like this is perfect and it's what you are looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and set these aside. If you have a pot that's big enough, Go ahead and add all of your pork chops in there. Just make sure that they're not really touching each other. That way you get a sear and not a steam. So I'm just going to flip these over again. This is my next set. And I'm just going to let those brown again another six or so minutes. So into the pot, I've drained off a bit of the oil. And I'm adding in just a tablespoon of um, unsalted butter. And then a bit of honey you can add more or less depending on the flavor or how sweet you want this to be you can also squeeze a little bit of lemon juice and i've added some dark soy sauce because i want to get a bit of color and i have my flame low here and i'm adding in the meat and i'm just making sure to cover it into that delicious sauce and if you want it a bit more sauce you can just add a tad of water or any stock that you have and here I'm just spooning on that sauce and getting it onto the meat to make sure I get a nice color so I'm adding in the other pieces you know my pot is not the biggest pot in the world and then here because the heat is up a bit it's all steaming up and bubbling up and it's creating its juices so here I'm adding on some chopped onion and pepper I love to cook with these I'm covering this up for a few minutes and those are gonna give off their juices the meat is going to continue cooking and then we're having a total of about 30 minutes in cooking this meat. So here I'm going to go ahead and serve this out on rice, but you can serve this however you like. And then just go ahead and add on your peppers on the top. And this dish was absolutely delicious. It was a bit sweet. It was a bit savory. So I hope you go ahead and check out the recipe. You're going to absolutely love it. This could be an easy weeknight meal. It could be as any, any night of the week meal, to be honest. It was perfectly done. So thanks so much for watching. And here I'm just serving up a bit for myself here on this side. And this pork chops was so juicy. It wasn't dry at all because it, the thinner pork chops have a tendency to get dry if you let them overcook. But you also don't want them undercooked. And this was a perfect bite. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already.